As you probably know by now, chat GPT plugins are coming and these are going to change the way the chat GPT creates content. And also, I think it means a couple of very interesting things for SEO that I want to talk about in this video. The first thing is that the ability for ChatGPT to make good content that's up to date, up to scratch, etc., is going to increase. And its ability to make content with a lot of different things embedded into it, like links, pictures, all that kind of stuff, that's definitely coming. But I feel like a big question right now is whether ChatGPT and Bing Search are going to just make all of that obsolete and make it impossible to make money through affiliate marketing, etc. However, I was looking through this and I was studying this and I noticed something that I think is actually a really good thing for SEO and for the future of blog creation. So we're going to be watching that in this video and I want to talk about specifically this one here which is browsing, which I, I want to talk about why I think this is actually a good thing for the space, for SEO, for affiliate marketing, for e-commerce, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so let's just watch. ChatGPT with browsing allows the model to research real-time information beyond its trading data. Let's see how ChatGPT with browsing can help us catch up on current events. ChatGPT with browsing uses the Bing API to search, and it uses a text-based web browser to go beyond just search results to actually navigate websites. It can synthesize information found across multiple sources to give us a more grounded response. Using its research from browsing, ChatGPT has given us an answer here with two citations. Okay, so... The really interesting thing about this for me is that it gives citations and it gives a very short response. So what that means is probably some traffic is going to be removed from search because of this, because, but to be honest with you, most answers are already, most answers that can be answered in a short amount of time, they're already answered without getting a click. So you can see that 57% of users on mobile or 53% on desktop in 2022 didn't even click on a result, okay? So that's already more than half, over half of Google searches are not clicks. And Bing will be the same, okay? Because they also have, have featured snippets. In fact, I don't have to click anything else here to see this answer. And that's all that ChatGPT is going to replace inside Bing. Okay, and also Bard in Google and all of these AI search assistants. But if I want to read more information, I still have to click on this thing here or I can choose a different one and I can find out more information. And that's what this is actually going to do. And it's probably going to lead to more clicks, not less clicks, because it's going to summarize the information and it's going to instantly give a few cit uh, citations, which means that, you know, one of those citations has got quite a high chance of being clicked. So all of this panic about these websites becoming obsolete, like it, it would be so stupid for Google and Bing to just sack off all of those people that have helped make them what they are by just saying, we're going to answer everything with ChatGPT and Bard now. There's still space for good expert made content, whether that's with ChatGPT or whether you make it yourself manually. I should really talk more about manual content because manual content is still better than AI content in my opinion. So this is the website that I'm working on at the moment. It's twomen.it. And I am a little bit worried about what's going to happen when these AI searches start to happen. So right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spread as much content around the internet as possible to increase the likelihood that in the future my snippet will be chosen for ChatGPT or whatever it might be. And I think that's really, really important to understand. Right now, it's really, really easy, easy to rank with ChatGPT content. But the main reason I'm creating so much content is because I want to be everywhere because I feel like that's going to be how to win in the future. And there's going to be a lot more emphasis probably on backlinks and things like that in order to choose which pieces of content ChatGPT or Google Bard reads from and then also citates. 
So right now, I think there's a lot of fear and a lot of hype about like the death of blogging and all that kind of stuff. But I, I, I still think there's there's definitely going to be monetization in blogging and affiliate marketing and lead generation and all of that stuff. Like local SEO is probably not going to change that much, to be honest with you. In fact, it's probably just going to get better at giving recommendations of places to eat, which is actually part of, uh, this is actually on this demonstration as well. Okay, it's actually not a suggestion. It, they're, they're using this restaurant to calculate the calories in a meal. But you can see where this would come from. Like You can see that they would also give such local SEO suggestions just like this. If you said, where do I want to eat in Los Angeles? Then that kind of SEO is probably not going to change, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to make this video to kind of calm people down a little bit because I can see from their perspective why they would think that niche affiliate marketing and all that kind of stuff is going to be dead pretty soon because all of the answers are just going to be from Bing or Google Bard or ChatGPT4 or whatever. But I, I honestly don't think that's the case. And I think because of this citation thing, which is an important part of the ChatGPT like AI answering system, I think that people are going to be fine and that they, there's still going to be money to be made in this. But I do think video, I have a video coming about um, making a YouTube channel, so definitely watch out for that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Um, peace out.